Konnichiwa, snitches. I'm B, and this is Bro Takuza. Okay, so Astrobot Rescue Mission was the absolute best VR game of 2018, hands down. And what I loved most about it was that it showed us that third-person platformers could absolutely work in VR and even be the best experience that you can have in VR. But you know, eventually we're going to be looking out for the next big hit. And that's when I started to think about games like Wipeout, um, Tetris Effect, Skyrim VR, you know, games that have been remade and redone to death, but found exciting new life in VR. And that got me wondering, maybe Sony's next big hit already exists in their back catalog. So this is my list of five games that I think should be remade to be Sony's next big VR hit. At number five, Ratchet and Clank. One of the things that we gamers love so much about Astrobot was just how visually stunning it was and how breathtaking it felt to be so immersed in its environments. The Ratchet and Clank reboot surprisingly gave us one of PS4's most beautiful, rich atmospheres in the console's entire library. Drop me right into the middle of that 3D space and I would never want to leave. Additionally, the weapons that Ratchet and Clank used were quite clever, and after the way we saw how Astrobot handled weapon and tool mechanics using the DualShock 4, I'm sure they could be even more innovative in VR with Ratchet and Clank. At number 4, Crash Bandicoot. There's a Crash game on just about every console these days, but he was once the face of PlayStation, so it would only make sense that Sony's former leading mascot would be a top candidate for a platform VR remake. This franchise has passed through the hands of many developers, but I think it goes without saying that a VR remake should be handled by Naughty Dog and Naughty Dog alone. At number 3, Spyro the Dragon. I've been a Spyro fan for years, ever since the first time I played it on my cousin's PS1. Spyro has the same lovable qualities as Astrobot, and from what we've seen from the Reignited Trilogy, these newly remastered landscapes would easily lend themselves to a super fun VR experience. Not only that, but the remastered version shows just how well the gameplay of Spyro has aged and how seamlessly it works in modern gaming, which can only be enhanced in a PSVR experience. At number 2, Jack and Daxter. As the spiritual successor to Crash Bandicoot, Jack and Daxter was another masterpiece from Naughty Dog. When it comes to platform duos, people were either behind this pair or Ratchet and Clank. Now, while I love both, I have to say that Jack and Daxter offer more complexity in their character and storyline, and if you were to include the open world element of the precursor legacy, that would be a major step up from the linear gameplay that Astrobot and Moss offered, which would naturally provide a lengthier game. And at number one, I'm going with Unravel. This is a title that no one would think to put in VR, but the more I contemplate how it would work, the more it feels like a no-brainer to me. I already played this game in cinematic mode because even for a side-scrolling puzzle platformer, the backgrounds and landscapes are eye-catching and just really pull you in. But while the visuals would stand to gain a lot by being transferred into a 3D VR space, the element that I think that stands to gain the most is the story. The game, through its main character Yarny, shares a beautiful message about love, how it can be messy at times, and how bonds can be broken and frayed, but also how they can always be made whole again. Unravel managed to deliver this message effortlessly without uttering a single word, and I think that experiencing this story side by side with Yarny enhances that emotional connection exponentially. Going a step further, I think remaking Unravel 2 could open PSVR up to some interesting new co-op mechanics as you have to manage a pair of Yarnies. Either way, Unravel in VR has to get done some way, somehow. Well, that was my list of five platform games that I think should be remade in VR. But of course, the ideal solution would be to just have an Astrobot sequel, because honestly, saying goodbyes to the little guy at the end of the first game was a little bit heartbreaking. So I would love to see him come back. Uh, let me know what games you guys think should be on this list in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys soon with my Ace Combat 7 review. But until then, sayonara, suckers.